Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at how to get a mini DV or HDV camcorder to work with a computer running a fresh install of Windows 11. This video will be broken up into different parts which you can find down in the video description. First we'll cover the cables and adapters you'll need, as well as the hardware requirements for your computer, then we'll go over the software and drivers you'll need to install, and finally we'll actually do a capture from this mini DV tape so you can see how the process works. The first thing you'll need is a computer with a Thunderbolt port. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad laptop, and it has a Thunderbolt port right here. But don't confuse it with a regular USB-C port like the one on the left. Usually Thunderbolt ports will have a little lightning bolt next to them, whereas USB-C ports, for data or charging, will have a picture of a little plug or the letters SS for super speed, which is not Thunderbolt, even though they share the same plug. If you're not sure, consult the user manual or spec sheet for your laptop to determine if you actually have a Thunderbolt port before continuing as there is no way to make this work with a USB-C or regular USB-A port. There are indeed video capture devices that will work with regular USB, but I don't recommend them, as you will lose a lot of quality going from digital to analog and then back to digital again. Using this method with FireWire, you'll be transferring the video from the tape to the computer completely digitally, which will give you the best quality possible. Now let's talk about the adapters. The first is if you have a Thunderbolt 3 port, you'll need to go from Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 or 1, which have the same plug, and then we'll go from that Thunderbolt port to FireWire 800. And now from here, you have a few options. You can either get a cable that goes directly from FireWire 800 down to FireWire 400 mini plug, or in my case, I have a cable that goes from FireWire 800 to the larger 6-pin FireWire 400, and then a simple adapter to go from the larger 6-pin 400 down to the smaller 4-pin 400. I like this setup because it gives me the flexibility to use this cable with other devices I have, but if you're only planning to use this with a camcorder, then I'd recommend just getting the direct cable from FireWire 800 to the small FireWire 400 plug. I'll put a link down in the video description to all the cables and adapters, and then you can just pick the ones you need. Now I'm going to set up my fresh install of Windows 11. I'm going to skip through this process as the steps are pretty standard, but then once I get to the desktop, there's a few things I recommend doing. First off, I prefer Firefox, so I'm going to go ahead and install that. And then I recommend installing any drivers that your computer may be missing. Windows 11 has pretty much all the drivers built into the operating system these days, but if you have any missing drivers or pending BIOS updates, it's important to do them now. Since I have a Lenovo ThinkPad, I'm going to use their system update utility, which will do everything for me. If you have a Dell, you can install Dell Command Update, which will pretty much do the same thing. For other manufacturers, you can see if they have an equivalent tool, or you can install the drivers manually, but make sure you get them directly from the manufacturer's website and not from a third-party website, which could be a scam. After your drivers are all up to date, it's a good practice to run Windows Update and install anything pending there as well. Just be sure that Windows does not install any driver updates over top of the ones you just installed from the manufacturer, as typically the updates from the manufacturer are going to be newer or more stable than the generic ones that Microsoft makes available. Next up, we're going to install a codec package. A codec is software which handles compression and decompression of audio and video files. DV and HDV uses MPEG-2, which is the previous format to MPEG-4, or MP4, which most people are familiar with. There are a few different options to install this codec, and Windows may even prompt you to install their version the first time you try and play back a video clip, but in my experience that version may not work with the software we're using to capture the video, so I recommend installing the codecs first before we even attempt to do a video capture. I've had the best luck with one called K-Lite Codec Pack Basic, which is a free download, and I'll put a link down in the video description. Once you run the installer, I recommend choosing the Advanced option. On the first screen, click Next, Next, and then on this screen, make sure you check all the boxes that are able to be checked. Click Next, Next, scroll to the bottom, and uncheck the box for the optional offer, which we don't need. Click Next, and here's another place where we need to enable all the MPEG-2 support before clicking Next a few more times. Now when we get to this screen, click on the buttons for All Video and All Audio, and then click Next. Now click Next a few more times, and finally install. After a few seconds, it will complete, and you can then click Finish and close out of the web page that opens. Next, we're going to install the software needed to do the capture of the video. If your camcorder is standard definition Mini DV, then search for the program WinDV and download this one. If you have a newer high definition camcorder that shoots in HDV, then you'll want to install HDV Split. But if some of your tapes are shot in the older format, you'll want to install both applications as WinDV is only for DV footage and HDV Split is only for HDV footage. 
When in doubt, you can always try both and see which one works for you. Now we're ready to get started. Turn on your camcorder to the playback or VCR position and insert your tape. Before connecting to the computer, cue up the tape to a position where you have something recorded. You'll know there's something on the tape when you see a timecode appear. In this example, I'm first going to start with some footage that was recorded in the DV format, which you can see here. So I'll open the WinDV software. Now we'll connect it up to the camcorder, and if all goes well, the laptop should recognize it no problem. Now all we need to do is select the location to save the capture. I'll choose my desktop here, and then click on the capture button. If the video doesn't start playing automatically, you may need to hit play on your camcorder to get it started. And look, there we go, we got the video playing, we can maximize the application to get a bigger preview, and then when we're all done, we can click on cancel to stop the capture. Now you should be able to simply double click the file we just captured, and it should play back just fine in the default Windows Media Player. Now I'm going to fast forward my tape to a position where I have footage recorded in the HDV format. Let's open up the HDV split software, and like before, we'll need to choose a destination to save the capture. And then I like to check this box for the preview so that we can see the video on the screen. Now we'll connect the camcorder and click on the red record button, and this should play the tape and start the capture automatically. And then after a few seconds, we can stop it and simply double click one of these recorded files. And as you can see, we now have the video that we captured in the HDV format. So that's basically it. Once you've captured all your videos, you may want to use software like Handbrake to convert them to MP4, which will save a lot of disk space and make them more easily playable on devices like phones and TVs. Or you can use video editing software and export them as MP4 from there. Now, if you've run into any issues and this process didn't work for you, here's a few things you can try. First, check your system for the Intel Thunderbolt software. On some computers, the default is set to not allow Thunderbolt devices until they are approved. If this is the case, you'll need to manually approve them or change the security settings to always allow for them to work. There may also be settings in your system's BIOS for this as well. Next, you can check the device manager and see if there are any driver issues. If you've installed any special FireWire drivers, try on installing them as the standard driver that Windows provides should work just fine. Finally, check your camcorder and see if there are any settings for the playback format and make sure they match the format of the tape you're trying to playback. I'll put a few links down in the video description to some other things you can try as well. So that's it! I hope you found this video useful. You can help support my channel by liking this video and subscribing, and if you wish to contribute directly, you can click the thanks button. Another way is if you need to buy anything on Amazon, like the cables and adapters I used in this project. Please use the affiliated links I have in the video description. Your price stays the same, but a small commission may come back to me to help support all the time and effort it takes me to put together these videos. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section, and with that, I thank you for watching, and have a great day.